Well, here we are at Carhaze looking at one of our new hybrids. Um, as many people know, many new hybrids of magnolias have been created over the years. This one we did in 2005 and we planted it in 2011. It first flowered two years ago, it only had about four flowers on it. Um, last year it had seven flowers on it. Um, first year the flowers looked a little bit off colour, um, weren't as good as this, um, but these new hybrids over the years the flowers improve um, and we now feel it's worth worthy of a name. Anyway these are the two parents. So this is FJ Williams, this is the seed parent and this is Campbelli. The pollen from this one was put onto FJ the seed were collected in 2005, germinated, they germinated, and as I said, this was planted in 2011. Worthy of a name. We'll give it another year or two, but then we have to register it with the International Magnolia Society in America. Um, but it's just a case now of thinking of a name. This is number one of three. The other two in the gardens have not flowered just yet. Well here we are at another one of our hybrids. This hybrid was done in 2009, planted in 2014. It's a cross between Magnolia Bernkus and Magnolia Lanarth. This is one of the three, first one to flower. The other two might be worthy, but this one seems more promising. It's a very good colour for its first flowering. Um, like the others, um, in their first year, first two or three years, sometimes the flower is not very good, but this seems very promising. And over the years, we've done about 60 hybrids. We've got about 40 about to, to have germinated. So there's plenty of scope for some new magnolia. Some might be good, some might not. And across the way there are some of our other hybrids yet to flower.